guys! So, yesterday was literally the best day ever. Um, I have not been that happy in a really long time. Um, there was just a bunch of awesome stuff came out yesterday. The new Annie movie soundtrack came out yesterday, which features some songs by Sia, who you guys know I love um, and have been obsessed with this year. Um, so that's awesome. And number two, it was Rachel McAdams' birthday, who is my favorite actress. Um, I always get excited when it's like other people's birthdays that I love, um, whether I know them personally or not. And yes, she just turned 36 and she's shooting a new movie right now, which is super exciting. Um, it's got some other, like three other famous actors in it with her. I can't remember who. Um, but she also might be starring in the next season of True Detective, which there are rumors but hasn't been confirmed yet, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. That would be amazing. Um, See, I just, I freaking love her. I always thought she was really, really talented, and I still think she's, like, super underrated. Um, I'm just waiting for her to get her Oscar. I know I've said that before, but I stand by that statement. And, um, also, Kristen Chenna with this new live album as well. Um, it's called Coming Home, and it is, like I said, a live album, which is amazing because her voice is seriously, like, flawless. Um, she did a bunch of, like, a variety of different stuff, some stuff from, like, her old albums, a couple of songs from Wicked, which is awesome, um, and just some classic shows, too. She did a song from My Miz, which was so beautiful. Um, you guys can check it out on Spotify now, um, if you're a fan of hers, I don't know. It's also available on iTunes and in Target, and I've also seen that it's, like, sold out at, I don't, out, sold out <laughs> at a lot of Target stores, which is awesome. Um, um, speaking of which, I can't even believe this happened, but Chris and Chenoweth retweeted me, y'all. Like, what? Are you, I can't even, like, I can't, I was freaking out. I literally died last night. Um, I think it was around between 5 and 6 o'clock. Um, I tweeted that my exact words, I think, were... Uh, uh, my theater idol Christian Channel with new album is amazing. Naturally, hashtag coming home. Um, and she retweeted it like, "Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my God, you guys! Like, I swear to God, she's been my theater idol forever, for as long as I can remember. She's so amazing. I'm such a huge fan of hers. If you perhaps don't know who she is, if you're not really." Um, a theater buff or like really knowledgeable on that kind of stuff. She's done some movies as well. She did um, a bunch of episodes of Glee over the last couple of seasons. Like she'll pop in and out. Um, her character was April. Um, and she was hilarious. Uh, she won an Emmy for Pushing Daisies, which was a short lived series on ABC a few years ago. Um, but she won an Emmy for that. She's a Tony winner. She was the originator of Glenda the Good Witch on Broadway and Wicked, which is one of the most popular musicals of all time. Um, she's just incredible. Obviously, she's a singer. Her voice is insane. Um, and she just seems like the sweetest, like, most good-hearted person, like, ever. Um, so, yes, she's awesome. I could talk about it forever, but literally, I freaking died when that happened. I screenshot it till I have it forever. I tweeted it. I Instagrammed it. I Facebooked it. I'm still kind of dying over it. Um, I know it's kind of stupid because, I mean, I don't know what I would do if she tweeted me directly or actually talked to her on the phone or met her in person. Um, I was even more hysterical than I am right now, but, oh, like... It was amazing. It made my night. I had a smile on my face for hours the whole rest of the night. Um, so that was definitely the highlight of my week, my month for sure. Probably one of the highlights of the year for me. Um, it's right up there with when Aaron Paul liked my Instagram photo. That was awesome. But really it's even better because even though I am a big fan of Aaron Paul's, I've loved Kristen for so long. Like I said, she is my theater idol. When people say who is your favorite like Broadway actress, um, I mean Kristen Chenoweth is always the first person that comes to mind. So I love her, and that was incredible. Um, so yeah, that happened. Um, and if you guys um, want to like actually see 
like the whole retweet and action. Her uh, Twitter handle is K Chenoweth, um, C H E N O W E T H. Um, so yeah, she's she's amazing. And my Twitter handle is StereoHeartXX. Um, in case you guys are not following me, you can follow me on there, and you can see the timeline, see where I'm losing my mind over this moment that happened last night, and then you can go and look at her account. Um, See, that was incredible. But right now, I am eating some lunch. I'm having just some leftover pizza and some chips. It's like a little mini bag of chips. And Langston's right here. You say hi? You see yourself? You see yourself? <laughs> you come and say hi? He's like, what is going on? <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. Um... I ran out of memory really quick because <laughs> I was talking too much about what happened um, and everything, but Langston's actually out in the hallway right now. He wanted to uh, leave the room, so yeah, he's out there. And I finished uh, part of my lunch and while well, I was cleaning up the memory on my camera. Um, and I think I'm going to go to Starbucks. I've really been craving a green tea lemonade uh, for the past couple of days, so I might get that, but it's kind of a toss-up between that and a salted caramel mocha, because um, I kind of want that too, so we will see how that ends up. Um, I might or might not vlog it, I don't know, maybe I'll just Instagram it, but yeah, um, so I don't know if I'm going to end the vlog here or not, uh, but either way, I'll see you guys later.